What's up my fellow gargantuan Gambino grazing cock guzzlers? Today we are back with the Blaze Berserk experience where we get Blaze and read Berserk. So if you want to do that with me, what's up? I'm here. I'm already blazed. So if you want to get blazed, come join me. And if you don't, that's valid. You could just watch me read Berserk and have a funky little time with it. Let's dive into it, boys. Rock sky, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what noises those knocks in sky make. Mostly wind noises. They go shh, 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 shh. Ah, cough, cough. <coughs> I can't move. It's like even now my own body. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. It's like. Such a sad and depressing scene. The homie's guts got shot and, like, chased out by all of his homies, you know? But, like, look at how beautiful and tranquil the vibes are. The vibes are immaculate. Like, low-key, if I didn't have an arrow in my, like, fucking nipple, I would also want to trade places with guts and just sit there. Like, just imagine just vibing on those stars. Like, look at how beautiful it is. Because it's unfortunate. That, like, stars don't exist where I live. There's just too much smog. It just, the, the stars don't exist here. It's fucked up. I want to see some stars. I want to just, like, go in my backyard, smoke a J, and just w star watch with, with the homies, you know? That's my goal in life. But unfortunately, I can only do one of those things, you know? And it's fucked up. But it's the life I live. Look at him. He's like, whoa, whoa. This life is bushing. Don't you see those stars? Those are so pretty. My life's so cool. Nothing wrong with it at all. There's definitely no reason I wouldn't like this life at 11 years old. At 11 years peak. I get my DS under my pillow. I get to play Monster Hunter for you for the 3DS. I get a fucking Wii U. Life's busting right now. No no reason to bring it down. No, no reason to have trauma and say that life sucks. <laughs> definitely not me. Guts. I would never have that. Trauma and guts? No. Those things don't go together. Guts is just a blissful little child that's never been in pain once because he's a baller like that. This is true. This is true. Uh, oh, look at the moon. She's so pretty. You're so pretty, Luna Roca. <laughs> Twitch. <laughs> Mush. Splish. Uh, thrudge. Thrudge? <laughs> I'm cold. I lost too much blood while I was out. Two broken ribs. I know that because I'm a doctor. I could assess myself like that. <laughs> I love how in anime they're just like, yep, that's broken. The, 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 the first rib on the left and the third rib on the left, right? They're both broken. I know that just intuitively. This, this fucking muscle right here, it's spazzing. Like, they just diagnose themselves mid-battle, and I appreciate that about them. I love their atomical knowledge and their intuitive knowing of their body. Unless they're just making shit up. Like, you ever do that as a kid? You, like, fall, like, you, you hurt your thing, your ha hand, and you're like, this hurts. I think it's broken. That's just guts. He, like, fell. Well... He did fall down a cliff, so I imagine he actually has broken ribs, but it would be much funnier if he's like, this is the first time, well, he's been to war, so I imagine this is not the first time he's been injured like this, but like, this is, imagine if it was, and he just falls, and he's like, yep, mm, two broken ribs, Ugh, don't worry, I can just walk it off, because I'm a baller like that, yeah, I walk on my broken ribs, no big deal. I'm getting hunted by a fucking army, and me, an 11-year-old child, outmaneuvered them. Because I'm him. I'm fucking guts, boys. <laughs> Where am I going, anyways? Would have been easier to just lie there and die like that. There'd be nothing anymore. Here's only the bad stuff. So where? The world's your oyster, guts. Do whatever the fuck you want, I guess. I don't know. Except for live a happy life, because apparently you can't do that. <laughs> El Bozo. What a bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean that. <sighs> the wolves. Oh, my God. Wolves are friends. Woo! <laughs> Look at him. He's smiling. Woo! We get wolves. Ooh! God. <laughs> Lunge. <laughs> it's ogre. It's all ogre now. This is it. This is where I die. <sighs> eh? 
Only just one V like aiding a bunch of wolves. This is crazy. Look at this 11 year old fucking man just stands up killing wolves left and right while he has two broken ribs and a fucking shot. He, he, he has an arrow currently through his right arm. Flinch. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Anyways, I'm gonna go die now. Bye bye. Stagger, stagger. Dud. Gambino. Uh, clatter, 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 clatter. Hey, look! He's just a kid! Is he alive? Yeah, but he's in pretty bad shape. Did he kick all these wolves? No way. Either way, he's got good luck. Getting found by us in the middle of the wilderness. Good luck. With mercenaries like us. Oh, yeah. Angus was saying he would need another man on the squad. Still, though, what happened? An arrow wound? Who knows? Maybe he's a runaway strange. Fuck. Slave. World's a strange place. Gambino. Oh, he's in heaven. He's, he's, he's chilling with Gambino in heaven. Well, I imagine Gambino didn't go to heaven, you know, since he, like... Got paid, like, $8 for raping a child. Well, he didn't do it, but, like, someone else did, and he took their money, and he was like, yeah, go ahead, get a little silly with it. And then, right after that, he tried to murder the child. I imagine those are acts that don't really send you to heaven, but you never know. Maybe he, like, repented or something, like, moments before he died. You never know. <laughs> Anyways, four years later... War! I'm stabbing you! Oh no! Don't stab me! I'm gonna stab you! Oh! Oh no! <laughs> that's, that's that's what war sounds like. As someone that's been to war frequently, I know. Boom! Go! Make your way through! Whoever brings me the general's head gets all the rewards he wants! Oh, that homie's jaw just flew off! That was crazy! Kaching! It's Bajou! The Grey Knight Bajou! You mean the Bajou who killed 30 men at once? I heard he killed a bear unarmed. What happened to the archers? They're still outside the castle. Nobody can get past me. Anyone you want to head up, then step right up. Hey, what are you waiting for? Defeat him! Make yourself famous! Go yourselves, knights! Charge! If you give him to say, I'm just a merc. Let him do it himself. Unbelievable. Oh. <laughs> oh, there he is. There's badass, like, 14, wait, 11, 15 year old guts? Yeah. Look at him. I've never seen a 15 year old so powerful in my life. Look at this dude. He's got the fucking mask, he's got the eyes that will kill. He's like, looks like a merc. Pretty young. Hey, look at this sword. Good grief. It's so much huge. Is that gonna just swing a long thing around like that? Little punk's sure enough. Who's gonna get himself killed? Lord, you saying your defeat, Bajur? How much? What? For Metalhead here. 30 man killer or whatever? I'm a merce. Unlike you knights. I can't live on glory. I get paid. Got it? Uh, very well then. Uh, in the event that you manage to kill him, I'll give you five pieces of gold. Ten. Seven, and not more. Ah, uh, well. Huh? You will get this, kid. Getting your head knocked off with seven gold coins. A green hood rent like you on the battlefield. Must mean that your side is running out of proper soldiers. Or the coward who hide in the shadows of children. <laughs> what? What? Oh, shit! Yeah! So fast! How can he attack that fast? Look! 
Bowser was being pushed back. What the? Yeah. Yeah. Crack. Wait. Wait. Holy shit. He just split that man's head in half. Do you see that shit? He just, oh look, his eyes are fucking falling out of his head because of the power of his sword. Holy, that shit goes crazy, boys. <laughs> the Golden Age 3 end. And I am also going to end it here. Hey, boys, if you like that silly little chapter, if you liked me reading this silly little manga, and if you like the trauma that ensues with it, because we're all a little traumatized now. If you read this, you're a little bit traumatized at least. So, um, if you like to trauma bond with the homies, aka me, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll make sure to trauma bond with you some more in the future. Hey, I appreciate y'all being here. Thank y'all for watching. And, um, yeah. I'll see you next time, boys. Bye-bye.